If you're like me, you probably watch a ton of YouTube videos. I don't know, I probably spend two or three hours a day watching YouTube videos. A lot of time just to learn new things, but I also consume different articles related to AI. I listen to podcasts and different topics, but most of the time you don't remember all that much after the fact, right? And I try a bunch of different note-taking apps. Some are good, some are AI powered, some do help with this, but I'm always in the search for finding kind of a better way to organize everything I consume so I could actually use it when I need that information. And lately I've been using this tool right here. This is called Recall. It's basically an AI powered knowledge base. So it helps me retain a lot more information that I consume online, both on my desktop and on my phone. And I'm gonna show you around this platform, but they recently had a major update. So they rolled out a whole lot of new things that I wanted to show you. So I was able to actually partner with them for this video to show you exactly how I use Recall for my central knowledge base. And I'll put a link in the description to this page here. This is the Recall homepage where you could go ahead and get started for free. The free version gives you a little bit of taste on what this product could do. And if it's a good fit for you, then you could upgrade to their paid version. And what Recall actually does is it captures and then summarizes and connects everything in one central knowledge base that's AI powered. So all these different things like PDFs, YouTube videos, podcasts, they could be included into this knowledge base and it connects everything. All kinds of different ideas get connected and it helps you retain information by creating the central knowledge base and has other things like quizzes and things like that if you want more help retaining useful information. And once you set up that account, this is kind of what it looks like. Obviously yours would be empty. I'll kind of walk you through what you're looking at here as I start building my knowledge base. And you could create what are called cards over here. So all these different things you see here are individual cards and you could go ahead and paste a link. You could go ahead and search for things here. You could add PDFs, bring your bookmarks in. But I actually like to use their Chrome extension because that kind of follows me around. I don't have to always come to this website to save anything. And I've installed the Chrome extension. It'll pop up like this right over here. So I'll give you an example here. I'm right now researching AI agents. I'm making more video related to AI agents. So if I search for AI agents, and I come across an article that looks interesting. Here's one about Manus. I'll click on it and I'll go ahead and click the recall extension right over here. And this is how I like to use it right here. I've added the recall extension that you could get on their website and you click it and it pulls in that article, right? So this is the actual reader. This is the, all the text from that article, but this is the AI powered notebook here. So it's created this concise summary. If I want more, this is pretty short right here. Let's say I want a detailed one. I could click that and it'll go ahead and write me a full detailed summary over here. And here's the more detailed summary, more in depth over here. The other thing I could do is I could chat directly with it here without leaving this website, but I typically just save it. So now it's saved, it's tagged it in a category. And now if I click this to go back to that recall page, it saved it here to my knowledge base and all this information now is always inside of my knowledge base, right? It's not something I bookmark. I could now have AI powered conversation with it. And right over here, the chat is always gonna be available with your detailed or concise summary. So if I ask a very specific question here, I said, what exactly is Manus? And he gave me this right over here. And I could go to the notebook section of it right here. This is where that concise summary is, but this is probably one of my favorite parts about this, okay? I could take my own notes. Right here, I just typed this out. I got access to this and I tested this in March, 2025. It's good at turning a single text prompt into a complete website and then whatever other type of note, I could type that in, I could format it any way I want, I could even add images to it and it stays right here in my notebook. So let me go back to the homepage right here to show you how it's all organized. It's organized by date and these are all the different type of research I'm doing just related to AI agents. And if you look on the left side, it categorizes those into different categories automatically. You can move those though, so any of these could be picked up and then dropped into another category just like this. I'm gonna bring this one back. But by default, it does a really good job using AI and you could see all kinds of different things are in one central location. So yes, I do a lot of AI research, I make a ton of AI content, so these are all AI related, but you could see things that are not AI related like fitness, there is a video I've saved related to fitness. I do a lot of stuff in the entrepreneurship and marketing space. So I've saved some things related to that. So I could click on one and I'll go to that specific card right here and then read more about it on this side. I've taken some notes as well in this notebook. 
Now, let me show you how to save YouTube videos because that's one of my favorite ways to actually use that recall knowledge base. So here's Matt's latest video on the latest AI news, and I wanna save this. So I went to the video and, you know, it's pretty long, it's 24 minutes, but I wanna kinda of get the key points here. I mean, I usually watch these videos anyway, but let's say I didn't have time, I'm gonna click on this. It's gonna give me the recap over here of it. I got my summary of it over here, but let me go ahead and bring it into my knowledge base here. And it's automatically categorized it under technology and the AI subcategory here for me. And I could just have a chat with it over here to extract more insight out of it. Now, let me also show you this tab right here that you have inside of any video you save, any article you save. These are called connections. And connection, based on the content that you see over here, you see some things are highlighted. So it's created links for us to discover related topics. This is one of my favorite ways to kind of go deeper. Once I find one topic I want to dive into, well, I could see, well, what did Matt talk about here? What kind of corporations did he talk about? What kind of software application did he talk about? What kind of products did he talk about? And then I could dive a little bit deeper into that. Now, a brand new update they have is this thing called augmented browsing. So I'm on this website, on the OpenAI website here, and you see this text here is highlighted, and if I hover over it, it actually shows me different cards that I've saved in my recall knowledge base related to OpenAI, and I could directly click on any one of these and go straight to that card just like this, and then I could read about that connection here. And they actually have this little widget on the sidebar here, and this will show you how many times different things that I've saved in my knowledge base or connections show up on this page. So in this case, there's 12 connections and I could just click this down arrow, but as I go over, you see they're highlighted by default. So I could just hover over them. So transformers, for example, this is a good case of this. So I could quickly see what transformer means in the world of AI. This is something I've saved here. And I could see that nine different times I've saved different cards that are related to transformers if I wanna dive a little bit deeper. And it's not just related to one topic. So for example, this right here, Karl Marx, this was from a different podcast, this Mark Andreessen podcast here, where they mentioned him. And then I could see who he was, German born philosopher in 1818 to 1883. And then I could click on this card and then go to that YouTube video if I wanna see what they talked about in that specific video. And if you wanna turn it off on any specific site or if you wanna turn it off globally, you could do it from this widget too, but I think it's a really, really helpful way to browse the internet now with the power of AI and augmented browsing. And they also have this mobile app here. So let's say I find an article, as long as I have this app installed, let me show you what happens. Okay, let's say I'm reading this article on the go about AI agents. Well, there's some stuff I wanna save. There's stuff that I want AI to kind of go through so I could have that question and answer. So all I have to do is press the share option and I have recall here as one of the options down here. It's available for iPhone and Android. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And it goes through all the information from the article here and saves it to your recall knowledge base. And here is that article. Here's the summary that created here with AI. Here's the different links I could go to. And I could always go back to the homepage here and see everything I've saved directly from here to on the go. And he obviously syncs it on the desktop here. So I have that same one over here. So I could jump into it. And if I like to work on the desktop, which I typically like to do when I'm diving a little bit deeper into my research, I'll go ahead and do more research over here. And they have this option here on the left side called review. So a lot of times, especially if you need to retain that information, just consuming it and even having AI have a chat back and forth with you on it is not enough. So this lets you have these reviews, these recall reviews, where you could go ahead and review a topic like this and it creates a nice Q&A for you. And here's a future Futurepedia video here. I'm doing a review on eight AI tools I wish I knew sooner, a video I had watched, but I don't remember quite everything about it. So what's the primary use of Flux LoRa? And I believe that's the answer. And I could go ahead and kind of review things this way. And if you jump into any one card that you have saved, you also have that option over here where you could ask it to generate a quiz for you. And it'll go through this information. Again, one of my favorite ways to retain information when I'm taking online courses. So this kind of has that built in to your entire knowledge base. And then you could go ahead and start the review from this page right here. And I usually take a lot of online courses. So I do like to take the quizzes that those online courses have. So this adds it to your entire knowledge base and pretty much every single YouTube video and article you've saved. And they add new features to this all the time. As I said, this is kind of a brand new version of this 
that has ton of new upgrades. So I think if you do any type of note taking, if you like learning by consuming online videos and online articles, this is kind of a no brainer because then you retain everything, right? I used to just bookmark ton of stuff before AI came around, right? I don't think I ever went back to my bookmarks. And when I went back to them, usually it would be so crowded and unorganized that I couldn't really find anything. So now having the power of AI with your knowledge base of everything you consume on your phone, on the desktop, in one central location, I think it's really, really beneficial for people like me and probably like you that like to learn all kinds of new things. And since I've been doing a ton of research on AI agents, I recently made a video on one called Manus AI. So I'll link that video here. That one's really fascinating. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.